preschoolers and kindergartners. I'm Miss Jill. Welcome back to Sunday School. I'm so glad you could join me today. Well, as you can see, the board behind me is blank. I did not put your memory verse up there because I wanted to see if you remembered it without me putting it behind me. So let's see, do you remember we've been doing the same verse for a couple weeks and we have some motions and we always hold our arms up when we say the verse. Let's see, it starts with I. Do you know what it is? I'll keep giving you clues. I am. And then the next word is with. I am with. I think you got it now. Good job. I am with you always. That's our memory verse. And we've been doing the same motions for a few weeks with our memory verse. But today, they have given us a few different words in our rhyme and different motions. So it's almost the same. Let's see if you can do it with me. I am with you always, Jesus says to me. I can tell Jesus what I need. Jesus cares for me. Remember last time we would do when I sleep or when I wake? Right, well this time we've changed it around and we've said I can tell Jesus what I need and we point to our mouth. Let's see if you can do that with me. We'll do it two times. I am with you always, Jesus says to me. I can tell Jesus what I need. Jesus cares for me. Good job, let's try it one more time. I am with you always, Jesus says to me. I can tell Jesus what I need. Jesus cares for me. Good job. We'll try that at the end of our lesson too and see how you do with it. Well, I have a little story to tell you, like a fable. Have you ever heard of the word fable? Okay, it's a story and we can learn something from this. And I need you to do some motions. So I need you to stand up I'm not gonna stand up or you won't see my head if I go above the camera. But when you hear the word bunny, I want you to hop like a bunny. So just jump up and down right where you are. And when you hear the word turtle, I want you to get down on the ground and crawl really slow like a turtle. Okay, so the bunny hops and the turtle moves really slow. So stand up and listen to me as I read you this story. Once upon a time, there was a bunny who hopped very fast. He was always telling his friend the turtle, you're too slow. One day the turtle said, I'm not too slow, let's have a race. I can beat you. The bunny agreed to the race. A race course was set and all the animals came to watch. It was time to begin. The fox cried, on your mark, get set, Go! The bunny hopped down the road as fast as he could. When he was far ahead, he lay down to rest on some grass and he fell asleep. The turtle slowly crawled along the course. He passed the sleeping bunny and crossed the finish line. The bunny woke up and hopped as fast as he could, but he lost the race. 
He learned that being fast isn't always the best. Okay, sit back down with me. Now this story taught us that being fast isn't always the best. We learn many things in different ways. We're gonna talk about learning a little bit today. What are some things that you have learned to do? Just say something out loud. What have you learned to do? Have you learned to get yourself dressed? Have you learned your colors like green and pink and yellow? Have you learned to sing a song or spell a word? Or maybe you've learned to count one, two, three. There's many things that you are learning right now. Who do you learn these things from? Who teaches you your colors and how to count? You may have said a parent or a grandparent, a teacher, or a friend or a brother or sister. There's all kinds of answers you might have said. Well, we learn in many different ways, like in the story of the turtle and the bunny. We learned something from that story today. And that was, what was it that we learned? Being fast doesn't always mean it's the best thing. Being fast isn't always the best. Well, today we are gonna learn something from Jesus and one of his stories. In our Bible story today, let me get my Bible out, I'll show you. We are gonna hear a story that Jesus taught people. And I want you to listen and hear what was built in today's story. Now, this story is in two places in our Bible. I've marked them with a heart. The book of Matthew in the New Testament and also the book of Luke, just a few books later. So Jesus told this story and they've written it down in two different places for us. So I know we are gonna learn something from this today. And I have a picture to go with it, I'll show you. So here is our first picture. I wonder if you've heard this story before. The Bible tells us many things. It tells us about God's son, Jesus. Did you know many people would listen to Jesus tell stories? He would tell a story about something that happened in people's lives. And then Jesus would tell what the story told about God. In that way, the people could understand about Jesus and about God. They could relate to that story because it was something that they have done themselves. So this story is gonna be about two men. I'm gonna put this picture up here so you can see it. Okay. Can you hold up two? There are two men in this story and two houses. The first man was very wise. He knew that he needed a good place to build his home. So he dug a deep hole on a big solid rock to build his house. Bang, bang, zzz. Can you do that with me? That's making the noises as this man built. Bang. Or maybe you can knock your fist on the table. Bang, bang, zzz. I'm not sure what that noise is. But he was working hard and long to build a nice house for his family. And here it is, right up here. Okay, you can see he built it on some rocks. And one day a great storm came. It rained so hard. Can you flutter your fingers down like rain? 
The wind blew and the water came up. But because the man's house was built on a solid rock, it did not fall down. Okay, it stayed firm on the rock. Well, the other man also wanted to build a house, but he was foolish. He didn't look for a big solid rock to build his house on. Instead, he built his house right on the sand. Can you see that? So hit your fist on the table. We're gonna bang, bang, and zzz. I guess that's when he's sawing. He worked long and hard to build his nice house. It also looks very nice. But when the big storm came and the rain came down and the river water rose up, when that water reached his house on the sand, the house fell down. Well, Jesus said that the man who built his house up here on the big solid rock is like a man who listens to the stories that Jesus tells and remembers them and does what they teach. And we can learn from this story too. I'll move this up so you can see both pictures. And you may have heard a song about this before. You can ask your mom or dad to help you on um, your computer or whatever you're watching on because I'm also sending you a link to a song about the rock, the building the house on the rock. And it has all kinds of fun motions where you're building and the rain comes down and the flood comes up. And maybe you can learn to do the motions to that song too. Let me ask you some questions about this story. What did the two men build? They each built a house, right? Mm -hmm. And what happened to these houses when the big storm came? Well, this house looks the same, doesn't it? It is still standing nice and firm on the rock. But the one that was built on the sand by a foolish man, it just fell apart when that water came up. So how did the people that were listening to Jesus tell this story, how did they learn about Jesus? What did they learn? This is kind of hard to think about. What was Jesus trying to teach the people? Well, he was saying he wants us to build our life on him. Jesus is the rock. And he wants us to have that firm foundation of believing in him and knowing his word in the Bible because that will make us wise. And then when tough things come our way, we will know who to turn to. We will know to turn to Jesus because he is our rock. And by learning all the things about him, we will trust in him. And we will be like that wise man who stood firm. His house stood firm because he knew about Jesus. Okay. Well, so this was one way that Jesus taught people. He taught them through stories that he would tell. So I hope that you enjoyed this story today and that you have learned that we should build our life on Jesus because Jesus is the rock. He is our firm foundation. Let me see, you have in your folder, okay, in your folder, you have the story that we learned today. And you can share that with your family and tell them all about the wise man and the foolish man who built their homes. And then in your Make It, Take It craft book, you have a page you can color and cut out 
those squares or rectangles and then you can put it together in a storybook and it's the directions are on the back for you so your parents can help you with that okay and another thing you might like to do to remember this story and to remember that Jesus is our rock so you might want to go outside and find a rock and maybe you can just sit that somewhere in your house to remind, or maybe on your porch, to remind you that Jesus is the rock, okay? He is who we want to build our lives on. And if you don't have any rocks near you, maybe you could just get a piece of paper and you could crumble it up so it looks like a rock. And then you could just sit that somewhere in your house. And when you see it, You'll remember about the wise man who built his house on the rock and the foolish man who built his house on the sand. And I think that is it for today. We will do our memory verse one more time. And we'll try it with our new hand motions and rhyme with that one line that's different. Ready? I am with you always, Jesus says to me. I can tell Jesus what I need. Jesus cares for me. Great job. Let's take a moment and pray as we close. Take a hand, take a hand, give a little clap. Take a hand, take a hand and fold them just like that. Dear God, Thank you for the story of the two builders that Jesus told. We learned that we are like the man who built his house on the rock when we listen to the Bible stories and do what they teach. Help us to do this. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, children, thanks for joining me today. Have a great week, and I will see you next Sunday. Goodbye.